and welcome to the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of June 14th, 2021. I'm Katherine Haleko, and I'm here with Terry Morrow and Nicole Eridix, but only for a minute because we're taking a vacation this week. Not to worry, though. We'll still be bringing you a podcast episode every day. We've reached into our copious archives to bring you some recent discussions about travel now that summer is here and we're all starting to be able to leave our homes again. Maybe some of us. Today, we'd like to complain about traveling or all the prep that goes into leaving (laughs) your family for a night or two. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. So in my house, when I travel, not only do I have to travel, but I have to prepare my family for my travel. (laughs) (laughs) Right. I just can't pack up and leave like some other adults in my household do. (laughs) Nope. I have to make sure that there's enough dog food and, you know, there are instructions about locking doors behind you and (laughs) setting alarms and when the gardener's coming and blah, 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 blah. There's all sorts of stuff that has to go into. And actually, I what makes so... I'm actually getting ready to leave um, tomorrow. So listeners, this would have been last week. But while I'm away, my husband and daughter are heading off to Iceland. Oh, Oh, you're not going to be there to see them off. Well, and it's even more challenging because I'm trying to get them ready for Iceland. I mean, my (sighs) daughter is, but my husband's away on business. Oh, dear. He's not able to get his stuff ready. So I feel like I'm doing triple duty here. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So thankfully, my son is staying home and looking after the pets. But you'll have to leave um, him detailed written instructions. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Of course. Even though the cats are his cats. Exactly. (laughs) Oh, cats. Exactly. He doesn't know what time I feed them. (laughs) (laughs) So it's this has been a particularly stressful time. And I've got people wanting me to, you know, do things. And I'm like, I can't. I just can't think about it right now. Yeah. So. Mm. That's what happens in our house when I go away. Everything yeah. falls apart. <laughs> <laughs> it's just why I never go away. Right. Yeah. I I mean, I have been fairly lucky in that um, when I go away, I don't, if the rest of my family is staying home, I don't like leave food for them or anything. I mean, I know people who cook in advance mm-hmm. for their families and nope, I don't do that. They're on their own because I mean, I barely ever cook. Even when I am home, that's more my husband's arena anyway. Mm -hmm. But things like knowing where people are supposed to be and when Mm -hmm. is is what all has to be like. Even though it's all on the calendar that's readily accessible and visible in the kitchen, I still have to have a separate piece of paper or an email or something in which I outline specifically this person has this event at this time at this place and this is how they're getting there and this is how they're getting home and this is what they need to bring with them and all of that good stuff so yeah that's kind of what it looks like in my house <laughs> and then some <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's um you know just being the sort of primary person or the person who carries like the mental load um, right cuz you have to offload that mental load onto somebody else um at least for a temporary time and yeah and it's not easy no because so much of it is just in your head (laughs) and then when you have to actually spell it out it's time consuming yes i mean thank goodness though for uh texting and facetiming because i do find now i just say a lot of like just facetime me or just text me (laughs) and especially with the option to have wi-fi on airlines now it's um makes things a little bit easier too to to right make that uh bridge that gap but you're not as unreachable as you yes were although it's kind of nice sometimes to be unreachable i don't know because when you turn your phone back (laughs) on and you got like Four thousand messages. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like so the flight that we're taking to Rome at the end of the summer has no Wi-Fi, mm-hmm. heaven forbid, and it's like thirteen hours, and I don't know how that's going to go. But will some of your family be with you? <laughs> Just my husband. Oh, so you are going to have to mm-hmm. really. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
I had a friend post on yeah. Facebook the other day that a conversation she had with her sons who are older, they're, they're close in age to your kids. And, um, the parents were mm-hmm. going away somewhere and leaving the kids home and the parents were not going to be reachable. And they're like, you know, here's a neighbor or, you know, here are people you can call if you need something, but only do it if, you know, the house is on fire or, you know, you're bleeding uncontrollably <laughs> or, or both cats are unconscious or whatever. Right. And, uh, and the kids were like, but, but, but what if, what if a cat throws up? <laughs> like, that would be an occasion where you did not call the neighbor for help. <laughs> like, figure it out. <laughs> yeah. You are both very, you know, mature, intelligent people. Like, you have to, got to figure it out. Yep, exactly. Sink or swim, well, kids. <laughs> that's a, I'm thinking this is going to be good practice for my daughter, who will be moving to university a oh, week yeah. later yeah. after we get home. She's going to be on her own. Uh-huh. So I've, I've tried. I've done everything I could. <laughs> <laughs> now up to the real world, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that's so. going to be so much Packing and getting ready. I can't even. <laughs> the thought of it makes me ill. <laughs> oh, dear. Because with your son, he was going to college a lot closer to home, and he, you yeah. know, he could always run back and forth or whatever. But that's not going to mm-hmm. be the case yeah. when somebody moves to a different mm-hmm. country to go to college. <laughs> I know. Right. It's all got to go into you know a couple suitcases and ah uh, yeah. So I'll be the one doing, of course, all the you know, mental lifting for that too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's going to be a crazy summer. Lot, that'll give us lots to talk yeah. about on this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, my kids still are, I feel like they should be more independent at packing than they are. Mm. You know, they still ask for a list and I mean, it's great that they can pack themselves basically, but as long as they do have a list, but I feel like, you know, the way I make the list is I think about what we're going to do and what you'll need. And you could go do that thinking. <laughs> you know? Yes. I guess I need to, like, scaffold it with them, right? Like, there you go. sit there and say, okay, well, let's think about what needs to go on the list and mm-hmm. where we're going to be and what we're going to be doing. And I guess I need to teach that skill, huh? <laughs> yeah. What happens with you, Terry? I mean, like you went to New Jersey recently. Did your whole family go, or did you just you and your son? Well, uh, yeah, we Not went New to Jersey. This, you live this... in New Jersey. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> we went to the Special Olympics, and usually, all the thing is that usually, if we go on a trip or anything like that, all of us go. So, you know, my daughter packs herself very nicely, and my son, my husband, just packs for him. So this was an instance where my daughter had to work, and I wanted her to have those work hours. And she, you know, she doesn't necessarily enjoy the whole weekend there as much as we do. So it's, it totally made sense for her to stay home and she was happy to do so. But, you know, she was nervous about being all alone in the house, which I understand. I'm nervous if I'm all alone, if I'm sleeping alone in the house and nobody else is there. Not that that ever happens, but, um, you know, so we wound up having some friends came in and hung out with her and that was really nice. Uh, but you know, there's going to come a time where that's, other people aren't going to be available and we're going to have to work on that. Um, Mm -hmm. you know, it's, she's, she's completely capable to do everything she needs to do. She's completely comfortable. She can make her meals. She can clean up. She can do everything. It's just sort of the aloneness. That's an issue. Uh Mm -hmm. Um, and, and, you know, I think most people can relate. I I mean, I'm sure there's some kids her age who would be, yes, everybody's gone, (laughs) but she's not one of those kids. And if you're, if you're somebody who, you know, likes to have family around. Yeah. Uh, then it's really hard to adjust. So that was a little difficulty. But, um, you know, fortunately we were able to work it out. But I don't, I mean, there was a time I went for business trips occasionally, but that really doesn't happen anymore. So hasn't really much happened while we've had the kids. So um, we're just boring, stay-at-home people, <laughs> go on vacation altogether. Except for the dog. We used to have to find a place for the dog, and that was always a pain. Yeah. You don't have to worry about that anymore. We don't for the moment, yeah. We, we should be taking advantage of this until opportunity to travel a ton. Until you talk your husband into getting another. Yeah, until, until mm-hmm. we talk him into it or, or 
or get to the point where we don't it. care what he thinks. <laughs> Which is usually the way it happens. Right. Because he's not going to change his mind. <laughs> but sooner or later, we decide we're going to overrule. Yeah. But that's always a big burden on travel. Yes. Is, you know, having to find a place yeah. to put the dog and feeling good about that place and giving that place all the information and measuring out the dog food and sending the bowl and the bed and, um, you know, what day are you going to do it? And I know our place is always closed on Sundays. I mean, somebody comes in there and takes care of the animals, but you can't yeah. go pick your dog Same. up. So you have to kind of look at your trip and say, well, am I going to have to pay for an extra night at the dog place? Because mm -hmm. <laughs> even though we're home, you try to work around that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, one time we had somebody pick up, pick the dog up a day before we got home and just hold her for us. But yeah, it's, these are the little things that take the fun yeah. out of travel. Right. And fortunately, I have the capacity to just say, eh, let's not do that. <laughs> Let's stay home. Yeah. Home's good. That's it for today's Parenting Roundabout Throwback Travel Talk. Tune in tomorrow for another fun episode. And remember that we'll have brand new episodes for you next week. 